guys welcome to another episode today's December the 30th today we are trying a very new spot for us we've never tried here it's a community lake about 45 minutes away from our house that is stocked with chain pickerel it's 27 acres in size it's getting ready to rain two to three inches after dark I got four days off so the, I know I won't be able to go. This is my first day off of the four. The next three are gonna be shot because of so much rain. So we come here, it's crystal clear water. Very clear, lots of vegetation. It's a high pressured lake, but chain picker will still be easy to catch. So stay tuned, let's see what we can do. Going to be throwing crankbaits, spinnerbaits, and a swim bait, a Largo shad. I have a feeling this is the shallow end of the lake, then, if them poles are sticking up everywhere. I wonder why they put them in there. There he is. Got him. Pickerel. All right, guys, first blood. You do? All right. Oh, he fell off. Oh, man. I'm going to throw the anchor down. It's about 10 foot deep. Still got it? Yep. All right, guys, it took us. Probably a good half an hour to get on a fish, but we just got doubles. Mine, of course, mine fell off right before I put my hand on them, but uh, we did each get a fish, both chain pickerel, both about a foot long, about 12 inches. So we are on the board. Just had to find them. I'm zooming. Wires. Fifteen. Huh. And got fifteen. I didn't think it was that big. Alright guys, first fish fifteen inch chain pickerel. Newly discovered lake. First time trying it. Right before a massive cold front. Good job. Yeah. Okay, let's swim. They're in here. Fish number three. There's a lot of weeds in here. It's starting to get shallower because I already went in weeds. Yeah. Smaller. And that was the nasty kind of moss too. As fast as I can, it gets real shallow back in here then. You got one. Yeah, you do. She's on her fourth pickerel, guys. A little nicer. He's not, he's not bad. Yeah, he's decent. He might go 16, 15. He's going about 15 or 14. Ooh, man, you're lucky you didn't cut your line, really. God, it's nothing but weeds over here. I can't keep them out. I'm reeling in as soon as it hits the water. You're going to have to retie your lure to be safe. When you get that out, you need to retie. Or else this next one, next fish will almost likely cut your line right away. There we go. All right. Yes. 
pickerel. That's my first one that didn't fall off. It did fall off just in the canoe. The other one fell off outside of the canoe. Caught him on that Largo shad. First time trying this bait, guys. It looks kind of like a shiner of some kind. Of course, with my tried and true VMC Moon Eye, I believe it's 2.75 inch. It could be three. Flopping all over my poles. Alright guys, I'm gonna get him back in before he goes berserk again. We've caught probably what six or seven. This is number seven. I got four. Yeah, this is my four, so eight. You got four now? Yeah, counting the one that fell off in the water. I still got to see it. He's not even hooked. The hook goes around his bill. See? He wasn't even hooked, guys. The hook was just wrapped around his bill and went on the inside but wasn't penetrated. I think it's more than. No, he's about 15. 16 at the most. All right, guys, another chain pickerel. Not bad. I got it down to a science. It exactly fish at three feet in five feet of water is where they're at. Nowhere else have I gotten a bite. It's pretty much like crappie fishing right now. Got them, the depth figured out and where they're setting. Oh, no, no, you're going to tear my lure up, buddy. Oh, let go. God, he tried to. All right, guys, that's my six or seven. seem to be all small in here, but it is a good place to come to get numbers, I guess. Got him. I got one back for him. Yeah, that's better on the, probably the best one I've caught today. That is one of the better ones, isn't it? Guys, another pickerel on that Largo shad. I'm loving it. Got numbers today, but nothing else. One day we're going to be able to go out of four days again. I don't know if that's really telling her all the way. Please slow down. That rain.
rain's still about four hours away. But it's getting windier and windier as the day goes on. And these fish know that storm's coming. They usually don't shut off this early. They may have just relocated to. I caught him out further and deeper. So they may be heading for deeper water now. Could be all it is. They may have just moved. Boy, he's going to tear this lure up that fast. Oh, man. There we go. All right, guys. That's probably 10 or 11 fish already. Slimy things. God. about the size of that one I caught. Now he is 16. Airborne. He went airborne. They're in deeper water and deeper down. They're about four to five foot down now. He's a little better. He might even be 17. God, it's going to tear up the lure this time. I have a bad feeling. God. Here he goes all over my poles, all over the canoe, all over my boots. It's going to smell like pickerel for two days. God, buddy. Gee, I wonder what it is. <laughs> yeah, that might be my biggest. Yeah, that's my biggest one of the day. I think so, isn't it? Why you give me like that? Oh, oh, fish of the day, guys. Here. All over the paddle now. I'm gonna pull this one up. Oh. Look, it's too far. Once again, guys, on that Largo shed, it seems to be working today. My biggest picker of the day. He might go 17. my line get off my line <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. this is big though whatever this is oh man biggest one yet now this is a big one i'm not kidding this is an 18 or 19 20 incher oh my god look at that oh my goodness there's big ones in here whoa oh my god this is one of the biggest ones i've caught now, I'm not talking about just today. Yep, get the dip net. Get the dip net. This might be my personal best. Dip net. Oh my God, that's a 20 something. 21, 22. Oh my God! Jesus! That's my personal best. That's my personal best. That is my personal best. Guys, this is strange. We have caught nothing but 15 and 16 inches. Get him over the. And all of a sudden, this behemoth, oh my God. Guys, this picker was gotta be 24, 25 inches. Look how big that is. Guys, on six pound line, it is only a miracle. 
I was joking with her when I set the hook. I said, oh my God, a buffalo. And I said it just because it felt like a big fish. And we've caught 15 little 15 and 16 inchers. Look how good I got him hooked. Through the roof of the mouth. That thing is fat. It don't even make sense how all the small ones we just caught. And about five minutes ago, guys, I said, you never know. There could be some big ones mixed in here. They might not all be small. And I was really starting to doubt this place. And I think this is the biggest one I've ever caught. I really do. Do me a favor and get gloves out the front pot, the very front pot. Twenty-three. Are you sure? Yep, tied for my biggest. Twenty-three inches. Get a good picture of me. I want it taking up the whole screen, but oh my god. <laughs> this is really fun. Twenty-three inch chain pickerel guys tied for my record. It is way prettier than the one I caught before. This thing has a giant head compared to the one I caught. Twenty-three full inches. I know. Wow. Okay. Well, that's Personal nice. best, guys. Or at least tied for that. I did yeah, not think we was. Picture. That is a fat pickerel. Oh my God. <laughs> Wowzers. Maybe I could have been using the spinner bait this whole time to target bigger ones. Got him. Bass. Finally a bass. Alright guys, there oh very first bass of the day got away. Dang. Thought it was fighting, didn't it? See, the fish were quite good today, even though it's that forward because it's south winds. And that front, that's a cold front. They always bite better when a cold front is coming, not a warm front. Warm front shuts them off. Oh yeah. Oh bass. Large mouth. That's three I've seen today. Landed two of them. You got three now. Well, one fell off. Yeah. All right, that's another large mouth. Hmm. 